Do you know that there is power in praying at specific times of the day? It is even more powerful when you have the right scripture to pray with. Today, I want to share with us a powerful scripture that you can pray with at 3 a.m. when in need of an open door. If that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then let's get right into this video. Do you need God's divine power to open new doors in your life? Are there doors in your life that are shut? Today, we are going to focus on God's word. As we seek the almighty God to open these doors in our life that align with his divine will. I want you to quickly get your Bible and open to Revelation 3 verse 8. I'll read it for you. I know all the things you do and I have opened a door for you that no one can close. You have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. I believe that this passage is self-explanatory. This is a message for someone who has been holding on on God, for someone who has been obedient to the commandments of God, for someone who has not denied God. God has opened a door in your life that no one can shut. God knows everything. Once God opens a door for you, no man can shut it. I know that a lot of us are waiting for new doors to open in our lives right now. You are waiting for your prayer requests to be answered. You are waiting for that new opportunity that can change your life around. I want to encourage you to hold on to the word of God in Revelation 3 verse 8. In fact, I need you to always meditate on this particular verse. Hold on to it so dearly. God has placed before you an opened door that no one can shut. And that which God has for you shall not pass you by in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, yes, I know that we all want open doors in our lives right now, but I want to quickly draw your attention to some factors that may hinder you from accessing that open door. The first factor here is ingratitude. When God does something for you, you find it hard to say thank you. That alone is a sign that you don't want new things to come into your life. When you refuse to thank God for the little that you have, you are hindering yourself from receiving greater blessings. Number two is stinginess. When God has blessed you, no matter how little you have, if you have refused to share with someone in their need, then I'm sorry, you don't expect more blessings to come your way. We need to learn how to share with our neighbor. Right now, the economy is something else. You may have very little amount. But if you can afford to pay for your neighbor who is looking for something lesser than yours, then go ahead, help that person. And God who knows your hearts would enlarge your coast. Number three factor on my list is negative attitude. When you hold on to bitterness, especially when someone hurts you, you begin to show negative attitude towards people, whether at home, whether at your business, whether at your office, it can block your blessings. I'm taking my time to share this here because I don't want any of you to miss your blessings, to miss that door that God has opened for you. Now let's get into the video proper. This particular scripture should be said with an open mind. Ask God to forgive you. He is your father. He would listen to you. There shouldn't be anything that will block you from receiving this blessing. The reason why I chose 3 a.m. for you to read this powerful scripture is because 3 a.m. is the hour of mercy. It is the hour to receive favor from God. You can choose to set an alarm at 3 a.m. Or I notice that just like me, I wake up most times by 3 a.m. If you wake up on your own by 3 a.m., you can go ahead and say this prayer. No matter how tired you may be or sleepy, please force yourself to wake up at 3 a.m. to say this prayer. Another reason why you should pray at 3 a.m. is because it is a quiet time. A lot of people are still sleeping, meaning that there is no distraction. You need to dedicate that time for God. Turn off all your phones. Nothing should distract you. Your mind should be focused on God's word. Okay? 
let all your mind be on the word of God that you are going to read. Now it's time for us to get into the scripture. And this powerful scripture I want to share with you is Isaiah 43 verse 16. You are going to cry out to God using the words in this passage. Let me go ahead and read it for you. I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. Very short, but holds a lot of meaning. What is it that you are asking God for that you think is too difficult for God? This passage is telling you that there is nothing difficult for God. He is the one that opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. There is nothing difficult for God. As you read this passage, I want you to pray with all your hearts. Open up your heart to God. Let God know that you have been with him. You have been obedient to his word. You have held on to him. And because of that, you desire that a door be opened for you. You desire that a path be opened where there seems to be no way. Cry out to God to open the necessary doors that need to be opened in your life. Your case is not different. God can do it for you. He has done it for so many others. He can do it for you. You have your powerful scripture, Isaiah 43 verse 16. Wake up at 3 a.m. Cry out to God and watch the heavens open for you. Watch how the door you have been praying for will be opened for you. Your case may look like that is the end. There is no more way. No. God is going to open a way for you. Yes. There is light at the end of your tunnel. You will come out of whatever situation that is holding you down. Because you trust God, God will not abandon you. He will not forsake you. The Lord is your light and your salvation. There is nowhere else to run to except to him. Cry out to God with all your hearts. He wants to hear you say it. Come to God like a child. Express yourself to him. Develop a relationship with God. Always include God in your daily activities. And you will watch Doors open before you because God has gone before you to open that door. As you pray this prayer, I just need you to also thank him for answered prayers. Believe that you have received that open door. Just believe it and it will be yours. God will give you easy access to opportunities. He would give you connections to enlarge your costs. And also he would give you breakthrough from every limitations that you are facing. I pray for fruitfulness. I pray for flourishing health. I pray for marital, financial, and spiritual breakthrough in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Before I conclude, I want you to also have this particular scripture that you can hold on to. And that is Psalm 102 verse 13. I'm reading the NLT version. You will arise and have mercy on Jerusalem. And now is the time to pity her. Now is the time you promised to help. May God arise and have mercy on you. Because now is the time to pity you. And now is the time he has promised to help you. May the Lord bless us and protect us as we put all our hope and trust in him. Amen. Thank you, amazing family, for being here with me. I hope you found value in this. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like now. And if you've not subscribed, I don't know why you've not subscribed because on this channel, I try my best to encourage you in your walk with Christ. Kindly click on the red subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you don't miss out on any videos that will be uploaded on this channel. Thank you once again, amazing family. I hope to see you in my next video. And until next time, this is Evelyn Ambrose saying bye.